Did you ever have just way too much going on and you can't get everything done? Yeah, I know that feeling. Well, good news. In Outlook 2013, you can assign tasks to other people. Let me show you how. Here I am in my task, and this is the task that I want to assign to someone else. The group we want is on the home tab. It's the manage task or group, but you can't get the proper button here. You have to open the task to get the proper button. So I'm going to double click on my task to open it up. And now here's the button that I want. I want to assign the task. What's happening here is my subject line is collect the games from the school. And what I'm working on is a big project for a company picnic. And this is one of the things I have to do. Go to the school and get the games that we're going to use. Oh, I can't get it done. So let me click assign task and I'm going to ask someone else to do this task for me. Here's what happens. It automatically turns it into an email. It identifies who this email is from. Now I have multiple accounts and since I have multiple accounts I could drop this down and change which account it's coming from. I'm going to go ahead and leave it from demo tutorial but I could change that if I wanted to. And then I simply want to determine who I'm assigning this task to and you send it in the form of an email. So I want to assign this to stingle at klions.com. That's who I want to assign this task to. And notice what happens is the subject line of the email becomes the exact same name as the task. Exactly the same. And then we have a start date and a due date. And I simply want to give it a due date of July 3rd. Oops, I think I clicked June. Nope, I got it. July 3rd. That's going to be my due date. And it tells me up here at the top that it's due in five days. Aha. Uh -huh. S. Tingle at klines.com must get it done in the next five days. I don't have any status here. I haven't started it. No priority. It's not complete. So I'm not working with any of this part of it because this task has not yet been begun. These two check marks come from the options. By default, they are turned on, but you can turn them off if you don't want them. Keep an updated copy of this task in my task list. Yes, I want that checked. Send me a status report when this task is complete. Yes, I want that check. So I'm going to leave those. But look, you can turn them off if you don't want those things. However, I do, so I'm going to leave them on. And then everything else you could normally do with a task, you can do here. You can put a reoccurrence. You can categorize, follow up, all the things you normally do. You can mark it with high importance. Let's go ahead and give this one a priority here of high importance. And when you're finished creating the task the way you want it to be, forwarded and or assigned, then you simply click the send button. So I'm going to go ahead and click on send and then it's going to send this email out and I'm going to go take a look at it in the inbox. It's sending the message right now. You can see it down there. And let me go to the inbox and we'll see it come in. So I'm going to go click on mail and I'm going to go click on the inbox of stingle at klions.com and just to speed it up a little bit, I'm going to hit the send and receive button here and it should be here at any moment. And there it is. It just popped in. So there's my task request. Let's go take a look at it. I'm going to go ahead and click on the task request. And now you can see the person that I sent this to has received it in his or her inbox. And now they can deal with this task because it's now assigned to someone else.